Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down the most widely played and lucrative games of the 21st century. Number 10, Overwatch. Though the tables have arguably turned for Overwatch since the release of Overwatch 2, which completely replaced the original game with an inferior version, for a few years, Overwatch was everywhere. It hadn't had the staying power of some of the century's other most popular games, but you have to give it props for being completely inescapable for a year or two. With a wide variety of heroes and lightning-fast, objective-based FPS gameplay, Overwatch was a blast in its golden age. It looked and played great on consoles and PC, and was celebrated for its inclusivity and deep lore just as much as for how fun it was. But even Blizzard has admitted that the Overwatch 2 release was a failure. Victory. Number 9. Minecraft It started life as a groundbreaking indie title, a deep crafting game that pretty much every computer could run. Minecraft has only gone from strength to strength since then, especially since being bought by Microsoft in 2014 and having the benefit of all that Windows money. What's great about Minecraft is that it's as complex or as simple as you like, and the difficulty is highly customizable too. You can turn off enemies, build without worrying about resources, or you can play it more like a survival simulator. It provides so much freedom and infinite possibilities to its players, helped by expansive mods and constant updates that finesse the gameplay and improve the visuals. Number 8. Dota 2 Very fine! Starting life as a Warcraft 3 mod, the original Dota eventually got so popular that a standalone sequel was made in 2013. But as the original mod was time-consuming to install, Dota 2 also isn't very friendly to new players. Despite that, it's become one of the biggest esports games out there, with a huge scene of exceptionally skilled players. This can definitely make it intimidating for a new player, since you've got to contend with a very deep learning curve to get into Dota at all on a mechanical level, and you've also got to go up against people who have been playing for years. But few things are as rewarding as being one of those top players. Number 7. Grand Theft Auto 5 Just when I thought this shit was clearing up! You make friends wherever your ass go, GTA V is still one of the most profitable entertainment products in history, a money-printing machine Rockstar happened upon when they developed GTA Online. But there are huge caveats attached to this, namely that plenty of fans don't like Rockstar's single-player experiences taking a backseat to GTA's aging online mode. Still, GTA Online is constantly updated and remains hugely popular, as does the base game and its numerous re-releases. It's another game with an enormous modding scene too, further adding to its popularity, while a role-playing scene has also built up around it. Rockstar has even bought various role-play servers, suggesting that this element will have official support in GTA 6. Whatever you say, Doc. Number 6. Genshin Impact It's pretty astonishing that Genshin Impact is free to play, given how much content the game has when you get into it. And unlike many other popular games, Genshin is an ARPG that you can get plenty of enjoyment out of, even if you're playing alone. Its monetization also isn't too intrusive. Yes, you can spend far too much money unlocking in-game characters and items if you want, but you can also have just as much fun not doing any of that and saving your hard-earned cash. See? See? Wait. Hold on a minute! It's been hugely profitable for its creators, enabling them to keep rolling out high-quality updates that expand the story and world, and even putting out a sci-fi sibling to Genshin, Honkai Star Rail. No matter the distance, annihilation will find you. Number 5. Call of Duty Franchise Over
Over the years, Call of Duty quickly turned into a tentpole release and a highlight of the gaming calendar each year. Though some would argue that the quality of COD games has been declining, with more misses than hits, they're still immensely popular games that make hundreds of millions of dollars for Activision each year. Activision may keep bumping up the price and adding more and more microtransactions, but to its credit, we also have Warzone now, which is massive and free to play. Warzone is maybe even more enjoyable than the mainline games that go out of date every 12 months. Number 4. Counter-Strike Series This intense FPS strategy game has stood the test of time and has been resoundingly popular for over 20 years. The beauty of Counter-Strike has always been its simplicity. You have teams and clear objectives, but limitless ways to achieve those objectives, while unlocking plenty of unique skins along the way, of course. Valve has to keep the lights on somehow. You don't have to be the best player to enjoy it, but its years of high-level play mean that mastering the series is extremely rewarding. The only way to get good at CS is to get good, and it takes time and patience to become one of the greats. Number 3. PUBG Battlegrounds One of the games that ushered in the era of battle royales and their consistent popularity, PUBG remains fun even years later. It also eventually adopted a free-to-play model, making it even more popular, though it's still racking in plenty of cash. It's really the classic battle royale experience, and you know exactly what you're getting into when you launch a game. But like other multiplayer games, this is what makes it so addictive and replayable. Unlike its competitors in the Battle Royale space, PUBG also aims for a higher level of realism, meaning it captures the large groups of players who love military games and military sims. This has ensured its enduring popularity. Number 2. Fortnite Though its player base has dwindled and it's not even got as many active players as PUBG, you can't overstate the impact Fortnite had on the world throughout the 2010s. It's absolutely still popular and has a healthy fan base, but nothing really compares to its heyday in the latter half of the last decade. Every single popular IP, and even a lot of not-so-popular ones, had a skin in Fortnite. Epic Games was making unprecedented amounts of money selling loot boxes and those coveted skins to kids who stole their parents' credit cards. And stores everywhere were full to bursting with Fortnite-themed Funko Pops. Love it or hate it, Fortnite was unavoidable for years. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. League of Legends Like Overwatch, a core part of League's appeal is the huge roster of interesting characters with unique playstyles. But it's had a lot more success and, in 2021, got a hit Netflix show based on it. It's remained an esports titan for over a decade at this point, with new players joining all the time and boasting the biggest competitive scene of any multiplayer game in the world, going by tournament viewership. Like many huge games, League is also free-to-play and funded by in-game microtransactions. To Riot's credit, continuous support and updates have led to League being hugely improved in the years since its initial release, and it's now almost unrecognizable. Let us know which of these hit games you still can't put down. Time's up. Negotiations have broken down. Please leave, ladies and gentlemen. In the mood for more awesome gaming content? Be sure to check out this video here on Mojo Plays. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.